The first thing we need is the playing field upon which our endeavours unfold. This tableau and its colour coding are the basis for all procedural explanations. The procedural elements of PRINCE2 start in the official manual with an introduction at chapter 11. So let's quickly whiz over those preceding 11 chapters to see what they cover. There is the typical list of tables and forwards, etc. Then an introduction that says what PRINCE is about and does things like define a project in 1.3 according to PRINCE. The seven principles are set out in chapter two of the official manual and covered exhaustively in this section of the videos. Then there are the seven themes which start with an introduction, what is a theme, and then go through business case, organization, quality, plans, risk, change, and progress. Those are the seven themes. Then there's an introduction to the processes, which we're about to take an overview of. The introduction to the processes talk about the journey from starting up a project through to closing a project via initiating, controlling, managing product delivery and managing stage boundaries. There are seven processes. Chapter 19 is the tailoring chapter and talks about the difference between tailoring prints to a project and embedding prints in an organization. And then Appendix A is the product description outlines or templates. There are 26 templates running from benefits review plan through to work package. Appendix B discusses governance. Appendix C sets out the nine roles and responsibilities that a PRINCE2 project requires to be resourced in some fashion. Appendix D extends the idea of the planning theme by talking to us about the product-based planning technique. Appendix E provides a set of questions to ask to determine whether PRINCE is being well applied in other words, to perform a health check. And then Appendix G is the glossary. Starting up a project, otherwise known as SU, is a pre-project process of six activities, whose purpose is to ensure we have an initial but reliable project definition covering the project's business case and the intended result. The intended result is called the project's product description in the list of document templates. The results of SU are the input for the decision by the project board on whether to invest in qualifying the business case sufficiently to make a fully committed decision on benefits versus cost. SU is essentially plan the planning. Directing a project is chapter 13 of the official manual and this describes the activities of the project board. The project board's first major activity is to examine the outputs of the SU process to decide whether to sanction the initiation stage. DP's four other activities are also all decision based. They're all focused on whether and on how the project should continue based on an examination of the outputs from stages and exception situations. For anticipated decisions, i.e. at the end of stages, rather than exception situations, the outputs reviewed by the project board are things like end stage reports and eventually the end project report, Appendix A, document templates 8 and 9. The project board also examine new stage plans and revised project plans, both covered by template 16. The project board reviews the business case, template 2. They review revised risk profiles, template 25 and also organisation charts and other factors which have no template. The first significant decision of the project board is the activity to authorise initiation, which occurs between the starting up a project process and the initiation stage. The decision to commit the resources needed to conduct the initiation stage marks the official start of a PRINCE2 project. The initiation stage is dominated by the six activities of the initiating a project process as described in chapter 14 of the official manual. The initiation stage is the first of a minimum of two stages. Since it is a stage, it will be brought to an end by four of the five activities 
of the managing stage boundaries process. Stage boundaries has an activity for normal or abnormal stage end, only one of which will be used in any transition from current to next stage. So called because they deliver the technical or specialist outputs of our subject matter expert team members. During a specialist delivery stage, the project manager follows the guidance of controlling a stage, chapter 15 in the official manual, which describes, amongst other things, how to delegate technical work packages to the specialists who create the project's products. These team members and team managers perform their discipline specific activities such as welding or graphic design, brick laying or software testing, as well as three PRINCE2 activities within the managing product delivery process. The dialogue between the project manager and team members and team managers maintains control over the allocation of work and the reporting of achievement. It may be that the first specialist stage is also the last, but even if it is not, there will always be a last specialist stage. And again, its internal structure will use the controlling a stage and managing product delivery processes to conduct the specialist or technical work. The last specialist delivery stage will end with four of the five activities of closing a project. Closing a project and managing stage boundaries are very similar. They bring stages to a close, either as planned or prematurely, and they prepare for whatever is next. Now, let's do that all over again, but at a lower level of detail in the next video.